Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and for today's video, I'm going to be filming my makeup collection for 2022. I know this has been a very highly requested video, so it's finally here, and I really hope you guys enjoy. And I think the last one I filmed was back in 2020, so it's definitely been a while, so so sorry for keeping you guys waiting. But my collection has definitely changed a lot since the last time I filmed it. So if you guys want to check out that video, I'll have it in a card up here. And I'll also link it down below for you guys to check out after this one. But with all of that said, let's get started with today's video. Okay guys, so starting off with my makeup collection, I'm going to be showing you guys the setup and everything that I have on the outside and then we're gonna get into the makeup. So I have this acrylic mirror that I got freshman year of college. I got it from TJ Maxx and if I can find something similar, I'll link it down below. But it's so simple and clean looking, so it just sits right next to my organizer. My acrylic organizer with all of my makeup is from Amazon, and it comes in a set of two, so I have one in the restroom, and then I have this one holding all of my makeup, and it fits so much. I feel like if I wanted to buy like another like five products, it'll fit perfectly. So it definitely fits a lot and it's a good price for the organizer. I absolutely love how deep it is. So I got that from Amazon. And then on top of my organizer, I have another acrylic holder and that just holds all of my brushes. And it also holds my eyelash curler. That organizer is from World Market, but I know that Amazon also carries them. So again, have that link down below. And my makeup brushes literally consist of Real Techniques, e.l.f., and I have one Rare Beauty brush that I just bought yesterday, actually. And right next to my organizer, I actually have two products. The one in the back is my Rare Beauty setting spray. I absolutely love it. It does such a good job at setting my makeup and making my makeup look so fresh and glowy. So I love that about it. And then I also have my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This stuff is amazing and I know a lot of people feel iffy about it. And I use this as a lip balm. Like literally, I do not use it for like sleeping. I use it every single day, apply it like a ton of times throughout. It just makes my lips look so good and it smells amazing. So moving along, I'm going to get started with all of the makeup products I have inside of my organizer. This is Super Goop Glow Screen, and I know this isn't technically makeup. If anything, this is skincare, but I've been using this to achieve my no makeup makeup look. And I've been using this alongside with my liquid highlighter and my liquid blush, and that's usually the look I go for. So it's definitely been one of my favorite products and I use it every single day. So moving along, this is a tinted moisturizer by Rare Beauty. I absolutely love it. This is in the shade 30N and I've been using this as my foundation actually. I think this is going to be my go-to for a while just because I love how it makes my skin look. It doesn't look cakey at all and it also has SPF 20, which is amazing. And after this, I don't think I'll ever purchase any foundation just because it's so good on the skin and it gives me enough coverage and I love it so much. So yeah, this is what I consider my foundation. Okay, so the last face product that I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I really wanted to give this a try after I saw everyone on TikTok talking about it but I am not a big fan and this is in the shade 7 cool um, I don't really like it I used it like three times and it made my skin very dry and splotchy maybe I need to use a better primer under my skin I don't know what it is but if you guys have any recommendations or if you like this let me know what you use because I really want to like this but so far it's not looking too good so yeah, this is like the only foundation I currently own and I'm not a big fan. So for concealers, I currently have these two. You guys know that the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer was, is one of my favorite concealers ever. This is so creamy and so affordable. I believe it retails for like $9. So I think it's always going to be like a staple in my collection. 
and then on the right i have the rare beauty concealer i actually just got this like two weeks ago so i really haven't used it a ton but so far i like it it's very creamy and i like the coverage of it so i know i'm going to be using it a lot throughout the summertime and this is in the shade 230n and i have this color pop in the shade 90w so up next are these blushes these are the two blushes that i currently have in my collection i have this rare beauty one in the color bliss and then i also have this milk one and honestly i haven't used the milk one in a very long time and it's probably an item i need to get rid of soon but this Rare Beauty is amazing, a little goes a long way, and I can't wait to add more colors into my collection. Okay, so these are the two products I have for bronzing and contouring. On the right here, I have my Rare Beauty contour stick that I absolutely love. I got this as soon as it came out, and this is in the shade Always Sunny. I love this stuff. It's so nice and creamy, and it blends beautifully with the sponge and with the brush. I just love this and this is definitely an item that's going to stay in my collection for a while. And then I also have this bronzer in the shade Island Thing from Fenty Beauty and you guys actually recommended this to me in my last makeup collection video. And I use this whenever I am trying to set my cream contour or sometimes I just go in with this alone. It just depends on the look I'm going for. Okay, so moving along, I have this liquid luminizer from Rare Beauty. I got this as a gift from my younger sister during Christmas. And when using this, I have noticed that this product tends to dry out pretty fast. So when I apply it, I try to apply it in parts. And I try to blend it out as quickly as I can with my fingers just for a nice and smooth finish. Okay, so the last highlighter product that I own is this Milk Powder Highlighter in the shade Lit. I've been using this for the past few years and I do feel like this shade is a little bit too light for me, but I always try to make it work. Sometimes I apply my liquid highlighter and then I apply this on top of that just to set it. So for eyeshadows, I currently have two palettes and the first one is my Fenty Beauty Peach Palette. I love the peach shades in this one. I definitely need to repurchase this palette because it's been expired for a while now. And I really don't know if it's bad to use expired makeup, especially eyeshadows, since it's just powder on your eyelids. Let me know what you guys think. And then I also just recently purchased this mini Natasha eyeshadow palette that I love. It has great neutrals. I love the brown and I also really like this sparkly shade. I really wanted something sparkly for my eyelid whenever I wanted to do fun looks. So this is great for that. And these are just so pigmented and so easy to blend. So for lip products, I have my favorite two lip glosses ever and they're from Fenty Beauty. I always find myself repurchasing these whenever I'm out. I just love them. They're always going to be a staple in my makeup collection. They just look so good on my lips. They make them so shiny and they smell so good. And then another lip product that I own is this Rare Beauty Lip Souffle and this is so nice and pretty on the lips. It applies so smoothly and I really like the applicator on this and I got this in the shade Courage. I definitely do think that this is a little too dark on my lips so whenever I apply it, I apply this underneath and then I apply a lip gloss just to make it a little bit shinier and a little bit lighter. So for powder, I have this Fenty Beauty powder that I've had for years as well and I can't seem to use it up. I feel like I've had it for so long and I use it like every time I want to have like a nice finished look. But just, I don't know where more product comes from. I just, I've had this forever and it's very nice for setting my makeup. And then I also have this banana powder that my sister got me 
for Christmas because I kept stealing hers and I really like this stuff just for baking and cleaning up my makeup and my contour. It just does a great job and this one is just from Makeup Revolution in the shade Banana. Okay, so this right here is my eyebrow gel and it's double-ended and one of these ends is actually a mascara but I also use it as eyebrow gel and I am definitely in need of a new eyebrow gel so if you guys have any recommendations, leave them down below for me. Um, but you cannot beat the price of this. I think it's like $3 now. It used to be 2 and I've used this for many, many years and I feel like it does a good job. So I repurchase it all the time. Okay, so for mascara, I have these two currently. I got this Rare Beauty one when it first came out and I really like the thick wand on this. It helps me separate my lashes and makes them look so full. And then I have my ultimate favorite mascara of all time. This is the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. And this is in the shade Carbon Black. And I love this mascara because it gives my eyelashes so much length. And I like using this for my bottom lashes as well. Okay, so this here is my eyebrow powder. This is from Anastasia. I've used this again for many years and it just does the trick with filling in my eyebrows. If you guys have any recommendations on any other eyebrow products, let me know. I just can't seem to find anything that I like, so I just stick with what I know is good, So, which is why I still use this till this day. So for sponges, I love using Real Technique sponges. They're just so affordable and they blend all of my products really nicely on my face. Um, I just could never justify purchasing the $20 beauty blender that's just so expensive. So I just always stick to buying these Real Techniques ones. I always try and get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls just because they're even cheaper there. And really quickly, I'm just going to talk about the last items I have in my makeup collection. The first one is this Milk Primer. I've heard really good stuff about this, but I've only used this little sample that I got as a birthday gift at Sephora like three times, so I can't really speak on it. But like I said, I've heard really good things. I just need to try it out more. And then I also have this eyelash glue for eyelashes, and then I have this pencil sharpener that I've used a handful of times. I usually try and get a lip liner here and there, but right now I just don't own one. I need to get a new one, but yeah. Okay guys, so that's the end of my makeup collection video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!